Hello, my name is Rick Cutter, and I'm with Cloud for Utilities. Thank you for joining our podcast today in conversation with Jeff Scott, president of SAP's user group, ASUC. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. Rick, what a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you for inviting me in. Oh, man, it's, it's great to have you. Thank you so much. you got some big stuff coming down the road we're anxious to hear about. Um, let's start, Jeff, with maybe you can tell the audience a little about, about ASUG and, and your role there. Yeah, well, let's start, Rick, if we may, for my role, because then we'll, we'll roll into a, a bigger picture around ASUG. So I have been the president and CEO of ASUG for the past seven years, a long time. Uh, but I come into the role with a, a strong background in information technology. My entire career, besides just a little stint uh, in public accounting, uh, was spent in technology at large organizations and small organizations. I've spent time in automotive. I've spent time in fashion. I've spent time in food. Uh, the only industry that I'm not a 100% resident expert in is, is utilities. But I learned a lot over the last seven years at ASUG, and it's been a tremendous opportunity to really get to know this incredible community. And to your second point of your question about what is ASUG, uh, quite simply, we are the we're the largest user community of SAP customers on the planet. We largely represent the North America customer base. And what we really do is help them, you know, get the most from this incredible investment they're making in their SAP technology. So whether that's about the ERP side of it or human resources, travel, cloud businesses, all the different pieces and parts of a really immense SAP portfolio, we're there to help customers get success from it. And so we act as a tremendous opportunity for customers to engage in peer-to-peer -peer conversations with one another, understand what's coming from SAP, help them navigate the SAP landscape, which is also very important because it's such a big organization. And we do everything we can to help customers quite, quite literally succeed with their SAP investments. And that's what SAP and ASUG are all about. We've been at it for 30 years now. We celebrate our 30 30th year anniversary this year. So we've been doing this for quite some time and it's really a tremendous community. Well, that makes a lot of sense. I, I've been fortunate to go to the SAP for Utility Conference quite a few times over the last 10, 12 years. And it's quite impressive. Um, I, I mean, it's a great event and I've, I've enjoyed it and gotten a lot out of it personally. Let's talk a little bit about the event it has been around for a while. What areas of the utility industry does ASUG typically cover? Yeah, so we're going to cover a wide swath of the utilities industry. And Rick, to your point, uh, you know, we've been doing this event for many years. And like so many of us who are out there and, and really believe that face to face engagement and the ability for us to talk to each other as customers has been an incredible opportunity. These last two years have been a challenge. They brought some great opportunities. But in the same time, you know, that being virtual has been very, very different. And so I'm excited that this year we'll be coming back to an in-person experience as well as a virtual experience. I think you and I hopefully can chat about that a little bit later. But to your question, you know, what areas does ASUG cover? We cover everything from the power companies, you know, the electricity, water, communications, so telecom, internet, renewables, and, and gas as well. Um, so really the whole spectrum of anything that you would consider to be in the utility space. I think we have everything well covered. Great. Do, do only SAP customers attend ASUG events? Well, you know, I think that the vast majority, the, the the preponderance of the percentage is is SAP customers or potentially customers who are thinking about adopting SAP technologies in one way, shape, or form. So we typically see most of that. So you know, and be given how well SAP represents the utility industry itself, and there are a lot of SAP customers. So I would imagine that. Almost every single uh, organization that's involved in the utility industry in one way, shape or form touches SAP uh, somehow. So I think from that perspective, we have the opportunity to cover a wide swath of everything that's happening. And we obviously welcome in customers who are thinking about potentially adopting an SAP solution. And what a great place to kind of talk to fellow customers, understand what they're doing, where their opportunities and challenges are. So we see a great opportunity there for those who are considering it. And one of the things we've been doing over the years is as a user community, we're always kind of thought of as, as a technology uh, organization. And I think there's a great opportunity for us to also bring in other parts of the utility organization's customer service, maintenance, supply chain, all those other places that are using these SAP solutions day in, day out. We really want to help them get everything they can out of that screen that all of us spend so much time on every day. That's That makes perfect sense. I mean, the SAP's got such a wide platform of capabilities with process and software. And what you're saying makes perfect sense. I'm sure you'll continue to grow it. 
what's speaking of SAP, what's the relationship sort of between ASUG and SAP? Oh, what a wonderful question, Rick. And the relationship, again, you know, SAP has a number of user communities throughout the globe that they help sponsor and embrace. And SAP and the ASUG relationship go back for the 30 years that we have been in existence as, you know, the largest North America collection and, and organization representing SAP users uh, in in all the software that SAP offers. And so the relationship between us, we are a separate entity. And I really think of our, our day in day out existence is to really think through the customer hat, right? What are all the things that customers really care about when they're operating their businesses, when they're operating their utilities? What are all the things that they most care about? And that's the primary hat that we wear is, is really representing and thinking every single day about who we as end customers are and why we use this technology and how we can help advise and influence SAP to make it that much better. And I think that's what has made my experience as you and I chatted a few moments ago about my uh, my career path and where I've come from, what makes me unique in this role in our team is so many of us have had, you know, and, and held roles inside of organizations where we've used this technology. So we come at it from that perspective of, hey, how do we really get the most value from this? And I think that is what sets ASUG apart from so many others. We're here to really represent you, the end user, the customer, the consumer of SAP technologies each and every day. And, and so that's really the relationship we have. And I think one of the things that makes us so special is we have deep, deep relationships with almost every facet of SAP, all the senior leadership team, all the individuals who are who are supporting the industry business units like the utilities day in, day out. We know all those individuals, how they contribute to creating the software. And we absolutely positively say ASUG can help advocate on behalf of you, the customer, to make sure you're getting the most value from the software. You certainly touched on this question already, Jeff, but what do you see as sort of that main top one or two value points that utilities get from participating in ASUG? Well, I think the number one value point, Rick, is the ability to talk to each other, right? To come together in a forum, to talk about common challenges, common opportunities, common success points that really enable us together as a community to learn. We can listen from SAP and their thought leadership. We can listen from the partner community and hear where they're going. And I think bringing all of that together under one roof and in one you know, year round continuing and evolving set of conversation is incredibly important. And I think if we reflect back on the last few years, we talk about a pre-pandemic world, a pandemic world, and a post-pandemic world. For almost every single organization, their operations, their approach to the market, their approach to their own customers has foundationally changed. And the utility industry is no different. And I think the ability for us to come together and chat through some of those common challenges is really, really important. And that's really what we want to facilitate. A customer to customer con you know, conversation, talking with uh, all the key partners, uh, talking with SAP, bringing all of us together, obviously leading with thought leadership, real world content, subjects that are really near and dear to the heart of the utility community is really what I think sets us apart and why uh, we've had such great success over these years. Let's talk a little bit about your sponsors. I mean, who are some of the main sponsors this year? Well, we have a, a number of sponsors, almost you know too many to list. And I, I know you have a graphic up that will help you know kind of list who these folks are. And you know, so I think you and I could spend the next hour if we had the time to go through each of them one by one and how they impact the the community. But you know, let me just say that I think that the 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 role that the partners play and the excitement that they're bringing this year as we contemplate coming back together again face to face is really palpable. We're all incredibly excited about where we're going with this. And so the partners are, are going to be an amazing, amazing part of this. And they are so dedicated to this industry segment, so interested in seeing its success. There's so many important topics that I think, you know, if you just wanted to come just to walk around and, and speak to each one of these partners and say, tell us what's happened over the last couple of years. How are you thinking about utilities differently? You could probably spend two days just doing that. For sure. I, I, I tell you, when I've gone to SAP, for utilities in the past, I spend as much time on the floor talking to the integrators and your and the, the ecosystem partners as anything, because you learn so much just chatting with those guys. Um, looking at your list, you're right, it's quite an impressive list. 
We're fortunate at Cloud for Utilities. Several of these are also technology partners for our event. Uh, Infosys, uh, Avertra, Utigration, SCW, IBM. Uh, I know some of the other firms as well, all great firms, but um, I'm excited to get to the floor. Uh, me as well. And, you know, I, I would be remiss if I didn't, you know, mention our premier sponsors, Smart Energy Water and Utigration, who are really leading the pack. And as I mentioned a few moments ago, Rick, I, I think. There is so much that's happened over these last two years or so where we've been away from each other. And, you know, while these virtual platforms that we spend so much time on are really amazing and they are the, the one thing that has kept us together over these few years, that they're not the places where you go to just have incidental conversations. You know, there's so much that happens in just walking up to someone and kicking up a conversation. And I'm sure you've been in this space a long time, as have I. You know, the the real, to me, the real joy is you walk into a conversation expecting one thing and you come out with something completely different. And that's really hard to do on virtual platforms. Um, but I think the ability for us to come together face-to-face -to -face reintroduces us to the joy of the the you know spontaneous conversation. Well, I completely agree with you, and our our team is just so excited to be at a, an event in person talking about what we love, which is utilities and SAP, of course. So I, I think you're right. I think people are going to get energized being there in person for sure. Anything else we can talk about? Maybe give us a quick preview of the event. What are some of the highlights planned? Oh goodness, yes. I mean, so you know, uh, first and foremost, we have a lot of sessions that we're we're going to chat about. Uh, we do have some special guest speakers coming in, and one of the ones I would love to highlight is the New York Times bestselling author Darren Olean, uh, and he's gonna and he's also a co-host of the Emmy award-winning docu series Down to Earth with Zach Efron, and they're going to talk about obviously renewable energies, could talk about experiences with places that run themselves on alternative and renewable energy sources. And I think for all of us in the in the energy sector and thinking about utilities and the utility sector, you know, renewables, sustainability, global warming, these are really topics that have come to the forefront over these past few years. And how do we all leverage them? And what do they mean to us? What do they mean to our customer bases? How are they thinking about them? How do we uh, move them forward? I think that that's really a very, very important and thought-provoking conversation. Uh, so sustainability is going to be incredibly uh, front and center for what we chat about. Intelligent asset management is always an amazing topic and so near and dear to the heart of, of so many of the utility companies and how they think through, you know, maintaining these incredibly asset intensive uh, infrastructures that they have. There's going to be a great demonstration on using drones and how drones can be deployed. And, and I know this is a topic that I've seen a lot written up on later, how, how you use some of that technology to observe your, you know, your utility grid, uh, look for issues, look for challenges. But not only that, how do you take that information and translate that into work orders that can flow through an SAP system? I think that's going to be a, a great, uh, a great conversation. Next generation intelligent customer information systems. So much of what uh, our industry does is around customer interactions, customer interfaces, which have changed foundationally over these past few years as well. So where are we going with all that technology? And you know, everyone in this space always wants to talk about the progress and the continued moving forward onto the next great iteration of SAP ERP software, S4 HANA. How do companies adopt that? How do they rethink their business processes? How do they modernize? Uh, and then finally, you know, and again, I could go on for hours, cloud, right? Where do we go with cloud uh, solutions? How do we think about the hyperscalers? How do they enter into the picture? What, what, what can they do to help our organizations both become more and more technology savvy as well as, you know, save cost? Cost is always a big concern. Uh, and how do we all use that to our best of our advantages to modernize our enterprises? That's just a few, just a few. I could keep going. I tell you what, y'all have one of the best events out there for sure, especially for what, what we do. Um, the sessions that y'all do are always so well prepared, presented, and I'm always learning something when I sit in some of those different workshops. So, And they're so diverse. So there's lots of different topics about the, the ecosystem of SAP. So kudos to you guys for doing such a great job. And Rick, to your point, you know, this year we're we are going to be kind of balancing a little bit uh, the notion of, of both in person and virtual. So we will, for the first time, be doing a hybrid event. 
And so there's going to be, uh, uh, you know, programming and content available to the individuals attending in person, as well as those attending virtually. Because, you know, while we know that this is a great opportunity to start bringing us back together face to face, not everyone's ready for that. Not everyone has that privilege. And so for those who are not yet able to travel and for whatever reason, we'll have things for you as well. Um, Jeff, in that vein of, of going virtual, obviously we're still living in the world of COVID. It's getting better. Vaccinations are up. But um, how are you planning for your COVID response for the event? That's kind of a hot topic. Oh, Rick, what a great question. And, you know, this has taken a lot of careful consideration and thought from us. How do we ensure that everyone who's attending in person has a safe experience, they feel comfortable, uh, they know that those around them are, are sharing a similar set of values? So, you know, we absolutely positively will have uh, healthcare professionals on site who can help in case anyone starts to feel as if they may have been exposed. Uh, we will encourage testing. Uh, for our attendees, we, we encourage you to come to the event uh, feeling like you are healthy. So if you're not healthy, please don't come. Uh, we would, would love to encourage you to be vaccinated uh, if that's something that fits your profile. Uh, you know, everything we can do to make you safe, we are going to require that everyone wear masks. We are constantly evaluating the, the, the leading advice and requirements from both the CDC and the state of California and the city of San Diego, which is where we will be hosting this event. So we will be making sure we comply with all of those, uh, you know, requirements. Uh, for our, our on-site uh, teams, they will all be vaccinated. Uh, they will also all be, you know, wearing masks. And we are asking our on-site teams to test every day uh, as a, an added level of precaution, just to make sure we keep this as safe as we possibly can. Of course, you can never uh, get rid of every single risk, but uh, we're excited to be able to be at a point where we think we can start to do these events again. We are optimistic that the uh, rate of infection of the Delta variant for the COVID virus continues to decline. We are watching those statistics very carefully every day. We're working very closely with both SAP and the partner community to make sure we're all aligned and, and thinking about safety first for our customers and making sure they have the very best experience. So I'm, I'm very confident that the team is doing everything they can to think through this very pragmatically and doing everything we can to help manage the risk for those that are attending. But it's a great question. It sounds like you've got a great plan, well thought out. So congratulations on that. We'll be testing it for the first time. You know, it, you know, as you as you mentioned, is our 30th anniversary in an organization that brings customers together all the time. And much like yours, you know, this is our first in-person event uh, in nearly two years. Um, so, you know, we're going to blow the dust off, get the cobwebs out and rethink this uh, in a really wonderful way. And what a great learning experience these past two years have been for us. And I'm excited to to bring all this back together and welcome everyone face to face. I, I think you're wise, too, with sort of the hybrid approach. I um, unfortunately think that might be, you know, a model for a couple of years and, and maybe long term. Maybe it's a way to grow audiences more globally that can't travel. So I think you're wise to do that. I think that's going to add a whole new nice dimension to your to your events. I think you're absolutely right. And, and it's going to be a learning process for us. Uh, you know, we prior to the pandemic, we were experts at in-person events during the pandemic, we became experts at virtual events. And post-pandemic, we will again become experts at both doing doing both side by side. And they are very different as, as we're chatting through it internally. They are very different experiences. And so what we're really trying to contemplate is how do we leverage the best of both uh, platforms and, and make sure that they're not intrusive on one another. So when we think about you know, virtual, there, there may be some things we offer virtually uh, that we don't offer in person only because of just logistics. Uh, but anyone who attends in person will have full access to the virtual program. Uh, vice versa, those attending virtually may not be able to see everything because it's just, you know, as you're as you're well aware, you know, technology is what it is. And it's virtually impossible to put a camera everywhere at every moment. Uh, but we're going to try our best and we're going to try to make sure that, that everyone takes something away. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Looking forward to being there in a couple of weeks here. Looking forward um, to seeing you. Before we wrap it up, let's talk about how people attend. Uh, I think we're showing a, a screen now of the URL. I believe it's events.asug.com, SAP for Utilities. Does that sound right, Jeff? 
Absolutely right. Yeah. www.aseg.com slash SAP for utilities is the easiest way to get to the registration links. Uh, you can always go to our homepage, www.asug.com. If you're a member of ASUG, you know, it will pop up for you automatically, especially if you're in the industry utility and following that. And if you're not a member, we encourage you to think about how we can help you get even closer to your SAP investments by becoming an ASUG member. Jeff, another question for you. Uh, obviously, SAP for Utilities is around the corner. What's next for ASUG after that? Well, you know, Rick, what a great uh, thing because I, it's not just about us doing a one-time event with the utilities industry once a year. We really want to encourage ASUG members to enter into a year-round conversation. So there's a number of things that are coming up. We will be focusing on the migration to S4 HANA, which is uh, you know top of mind for so many SAP customers as they think about how they embrace the latest and greatest technology from SAP. Uh, next important, which I think is a great opportunity for so many of the utility industry customers, is we do have an event coming up on asset management, and that is a very important topic. And we always see a tremendous amount of interest from um, utility customers around asset management. We will uh, be starting to roll back out our regional think tanks, our chapter meetings. We have 37 chapters scattered across uh, the United States and Canada, and we are hoping to get them back together uh, early next year and the latter part of this year. So starting to see some smaller events coming about that uh, we hope bring the community geographically centered back together again. Uh, we do a tremendous amount of customer research. So in this fall, we always do a pulse of the customer base to understand where they're at. So we'll be performing that. And uh, we continue to also ask a lot of questions and research around the utility industry itself and where they're going and what they're doing. So we will continue to drive those programs. And so that's uh, everything we've got planned. It's it's always a busy uh, interval of a year for us and lots of reasons and lots of ways for customers to continue to engage. Well, we look forward to seeing you, our audience, and San Diego at the SAP for Utilities Conference very soon. It's going to be a great event. The speakers are amazing. The technology partners are fantastic. Lots of learning opportunities. And uh, Jeff, thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you soon. And Rick, thank you for having me in today. What a great conversation. I'm excited as you are to see all of our customers and members come together in a few weeks. My pleasure.